morning. Same morning, different video. As I explained in my last video, what I, what I want to do in this video is I want to try something that somebody told me about, which is bracketing photos. Now I've bracketed photos before, but they said to bracket your photo overexposed as well, and also bracket it underexposed. So I'll end up with nine photos altogether, three lots of brackets, three lots of three threes. So it's something I wanted to try out. I've never done it before. I don't know if it'll make any difference. So the shot that I'm going to shoot is this bridge here behind me, obviously with the river. Now I've, I've chosen this kind of composition. This is like looking from my camera, something like this. But the reason I think I might struggle is I've got ducks moving around down there. So I'll either have to clone them out because they'll be all blurry after all the different shots or I'll have to recompose. So I might take this shot anyway and then I might go down there and recompose just to compare the two. So I'll have kind of two images to kind of compare and show. Also with this as well is there a, there's another technique that I've heard which is how to slow the water down when you haven't got an ND filter. Now, I have got an ND filter, but only for my A6400, and I haven't bought one for my new camera yet, for my new lens. Now, this method is by using uh, F22 aperture. Because you obviously have to slow the light down, so it slow, because you have to slow the shutter speed down, because it'll be too light at f22 it kind of gives you that effect which you can kind of blend in to make the water smooth well that's the theory behind it so i'm going to kind of add that little bit to the video uh to my edit just to see if it works so i'll show you what i've kind of got set up so far so as i said that's my composition i've got this big tree to the left and then I've got uh, the path running off towards the bridge and the bridge and the river. It's not the best shot, but it's somewhere where I can kind of be here and not be disturbed. So I've set the camera up, ISO 100. I'm going to change the shutter, uh, the aperture to F11. And I'm going to take the shot. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so I've took the first shot at the correct exposure, bracketing one stop over and one stop under. Okay, so I just, just took the second shot, which is one stop over, and I bracketed that. And I'm gonna go in the opposite direction and bracket one stop under. I'm changing the stops by changing the shutter speed. I'm keeping the ISO the same and the aperture the same. Okay, so I've dropped these settings down now. It's one tenth of a second. And this is shooting one stop underexposed, bracketed. Now I've got the three shots, well the three sets of brackets, which I've looked at at F11 and they all look pretty sharp all over the shot. So I'm going to go with that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the um, composition and I'm going to get lower down there on that bit of a bank. I'm going to get lower to the bridge and try to cut out the ducks. But as I've said that, the ducks have gone to where I want to be. But maybe when I go down there, they'll move. So let's go and see. So let's go and see what that does, or what that looks like down there.
guys, so I've come down onto the bank a bit more and I've composed this shot here. Again, nothing very interesting, but this little branch log here, well, not log, what is it? Some kind of, well, it's a branch. This branch here in the foreground, a little bit of white water there, but the ducks are still playing around in it, so that's not really helping. And again, the bridge, again, I've used the same technique as before, bracketing three sets of photos, one at the correct exposure, one one stop overexposed, one one stop underexposed. I've also taken a shot bracketed at f22 just to see if I can slow the water down. I've had a quick look and it, yeah, it seems to work. And I have also focused a bracketed shot on this branch in front of me. So let me just work that out. How many shots for that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 shots. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of um, bit of blending and uh, photo stacking in Photoshop. But it's something I kind of enjoy doing and I'm willing to give it a go, see if it comes out any better. If it's any good, here's the photo. Um, I also came down this side of the bank and climbed right down there by the water to try and get some of the mossy the mossy bricks in in shot but it's really messy down there and loads of rubbish on the river bank so I don't think I'll use any of that I'm just gonna have a quick walk around here because there's some trees and there's another kind of uh, little test this test out today for me i'm just testing out a few little settings and a few little tips and tricks that i've seen on youtube and that um and i'm just i have trouble with woodland photography quite a lot with regards to isolating my subject and I, it just it only just clicked to me last night i'm shooting at a high uh aperture a, 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 like um an f11 or something when i'm trying to try to isolate the one subject so there's a little bit of woodland in there over here it's it's nothing brilliant i'm just going to go and have a little mess around and take a few shots at um f2.8 which is the lowest this lens goes just to see if it kind of isolates the subject a little bit more for me As I said, that swan's doing his thing there, having a big flap about, which would have been a, been a good photo. But the uh, the clouds are kind of breaking through a little bit now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few shots of the trees. And then I'll move on to my third video, which, it'll, which will be going over my settings for my bird photography, which I can do now the sun's kind of come out a bit. So... Let's go and have a look at the trees. Mm -hmm. 